not the time that you know it all or what you know or what you have done in the past will prepare you for the struggle and for the battle that is ahead. The struggle for Biafra has entered autopilot from today. My brother used to tell me that immediately Onyendu was kidnapped. One of my brother told me, Simon Ekpa, this struggle has entered autopilot. I went to sleep. I thought about this, this particular saying. I thought about this particular word. And today, every day, things has been happening that positions my mind towards the autopilot of Biafra struggle. Today, I have seen that a lot of sign has been given. I have seen so many signs of Biafra struggle in autopilot. Yesterday night, we came very late, about 3 a.m. this time and 1 a.m. Biafra time. We left and closed the program about 3 a.m. Biafra time. We told people to observe, sit at home. A lot did not have that information. But today, go to so many parts of Biafra land. Autopilot. Biafrans observe, sit at home. It is autopilot. And this autopilot that the struggle has entered because of a lot of misconception, misinformation, and so many things going on. One moment. I have the angels around. Let me attend to them. Attention, attention. IPOB One Family. This announcement is for those outside of the USA that wish to donate to the Eastern Security Network Fund that is based in the United States. Because of the fees that donators have to pay the bank when sending wires, we recommend that if you're sending less than $250, that you donate through the IPOB USA website. It's fast, simple, and less expensive for you. Go to our website www.ipobinusa.org slash donate that is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate and make your contribution welcome back I'm sorry for that interruption sometimes I have the angels around me, and this is one of those times that I have felt, I felt the energy and the presence of angels around me. Today we witnessed and this, we saw all over Biafra land example of autopilot. Biafrans observed, sit at home, businesses closed, banks closed. Even when the announcement came very, very late. So there is no way the announcement would have circulated to the extent of having the effect we saw today. People took it upon themselves and that is what I mean by autopilot. So in this autopilot of the struggle, a lot is going to happen. A lot will happen automatically, automatically. And on this note, I will ask the Southern Nigeria to get ready, to get ready. 
It is time we are going to separate the chaff. If you don't know that the GSS and the Nigeria government were ready to play this stunt today, then you don't understand Nigeria. You don't understand Nigeria. Some of us knows that this is going to happen. In addition to this, some of you in the United Kingdom, all Nigerians in the United Kingdom, all Biafrans in the United Kingdom, all of the ones in the United Kingdom, it is time you must not allow the man who went to London to rest. Now we want to see the biggest mass mega protest in the United Kingdom. We want to see you in the United Kingdom to disgrace, expose this man who, according to report, is now in the United Kingdom. We want to see mega rally. We want to see mega protest. We want to see play card of people that their heads are chopped off because he directly, this man who parried himself as Buhari, directly sponsored the killing, genocide, and ethnic cleansing of our people. Today we hear, we hear that he went to London for medical checkup. And you cannot be in the United Kingdom and allow that man to be in the same United Kingdom with you. Be you a Nigerian, be you one Nigerian, be you a Biafran, be you a Dudua Republic, be you a, a, from anywhere you come from for the fact that you, 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 you want the freedom of the people. You must not allow this man to continue to be in the United Kingdom and have peace. The sleepless night he has given To your people back home in Nigeria, we want Biafrans, Ududuas, Nigerians, Middle Beltans to give him that sleepless night in the United Kingdom. You must not allow the man called Buhari to have peace. That man who is acting and representing himself as Buhari and he is now in the United Kingdom, he must not have peace until he left, until he, he go back to Nigeria, where he come from. Make sure you torment him wherever he is in the United Kingdom. We want to see from tomorrow, from tomorrow, we want to see mass protest in the United Kingdom, especially any place you just perceive that he is hiding there, go there and we hear that he's going to be in a whatever education, whatever, whatever. He's going to be part of the forum or whatever. Make sure you find a place where this thing is holding. Stage a massive protest there. Let those who pretend they don't know what is going on in Nigeria begin to ask questions. You can never see the kind and the level of impunity the DSS and the Nigeria government display today in any part of the world. You can't see that. Let me tell you, you see, what people don't understand, especially those of you who are talking about one Nigeria, <laughs> What you don't understand is that what happened today in Nigeria should also open your eye. That Fulani will never give up without a fight. Fulani knows that we know their game. Fulani knows that Mazinam the Kanu knows their game. Fulani knows that they are now in what we call last fight in the movie. It's the last fight. You don't, are you not seeing it? 
Are you not seeing the outrage in the Yoruba land? Are you not seeing the outrage all over the world? Are you not seeing the outrage of people who are not even Biafras? Fulani knows that the game is over. And this is what we call last fight. The last fight in the movie, you use everything, every strategy, everything you have, including breaching all protocols. That is how this war is going to be won. That's how we are going to win this war. We are now in the last fight for Nigeria dissolution. The people in the affair of IPOB must rise up. It is time to apply extraordinary strategies. It's time to apply extraordinary strategies which I believe we are doing and we are going to be on top of the game. A lot, a lot of things happened during 2015, 2016, 2017 when our leader was captured, arrested. And some of the things that happened then is not happening now. And it will not happen. It has become very imperative for me to talk in this manner. It has become very imperative for me to be talking in a coded language. It has become imperative. For me to be dishing out this code. This code I am giving out this night. This coded message I am giving out this night. It has become imperative. I want every one of you watching me today. Principal officers of IPOB. I want you to go back and sleep. Go back and sleep. And ask God to give you wisdom. Ask God to open your spiritual eyes for you to know that we are in a very extraordinary time. It is not a time to look at each other, insult each other, abuse each other, while our enemy are eating deep into us. It is not the time to pick on Simon Ekpa. It is not the time to pick on anybody. within the IPOB family. It is the time we take extraordinary steps. It is the time we do everything, continue to tell our people, demonstrate to our people that no shaking because what just happened today believe me what happened today more of it is coming what the dss did today what the nigeria government did today you are going to see a lot of it coming even this october let me make it very clear. How do you expect the government of Nigeria to present our leader? 
How do you expect them to bring Mazin Namdi Kanu to court? Where Mazin Namdi Kanu will open his mouth and tell the world what went wrong? Do you think that is possible? Do you know the courage they are going to summon to do that? How do you think that the Nigeria DSS, Malami, who have just realized what they have done, will bring Mazin Namdekano to court? For him, when they were, you know, to open his mouth and say certain things. You think they are going to allow that to happen? The answer is no. How do you allow, or how do you think that the Nigeria government will bring Mazin Namdi Kanu to court for frivolous charges that all this stunt they put only to come to court and they say it's treason? Only to come to court to realize that it's nothing like treasonable felony. How do you think that Nigeria government will fail? We feel for them to have charged Mazinam Dekano with their terrorism act, only to come to court and will be unable to prove the terrorism or the act of terrorism of Mazin Amdikan. So, the court will not take place. And let me tell you, what happened today is the exact mentality of Nigeria, what you call the jungle justice. Some of you do not understand the mentality that gave Nigeria or the mentality of the jungle justice in Nigeria. You know what is the jungle justice? The jungle justice is when people are lynched, set ablaze. The mentality of this kind of justice is what the Nigerian government are displaying today. The Nigeria government has displayed the highest level of jungle justice. An average man in Nigeria street would want to kill somebody for stealing phone. An average man in Nigeria street will want to lynch a fellow Nigerian for picking pockets. An average Nigerian in the street would want to set ablaze a fellow Nigeria for stealing the handbags of women. That is exactly what the Nigeria government has displayed today. What they did was to go to another man's country abduct Mazen Amdekano, brought him to Nigeria without regard to international laws. Without regard to international treaties. Without regard to nations that have breached their own laws. And they were shocked. The outrage reaction from different quarters. So where do you think they are going to start? They don't have the balls to bring Mazenam the Canon to court. So now they are joined this case till October. So that between now and October, they are going to be pulling stunts. 
that will demoralize Biafra people. I am calling on Biafrans today. No matter what the DSS and Nigeria government are going to do, do not be discouraged. The struggle for Biafra has entered autopilot. I am calling on Biafrans today. No matter what the government of Nigeria is going to pull, make sure you support Eastern Security Network. I am calling on Biafras today. No matter the stunt the DSS are going to pull, make sure you support the Eastern Security Network. I am calling on Biafras today. No matter what the Fulani government are going to do, make sure you support the Eastern Security Network. Because the target is to demoralize you. No matter what the Nigerian government is going to do today, with the abduction, the trial of Mazen Amdekano, make sure you support IPOB. No matter what the Nigerian government is going to do today, don't ever forget. Don't ever forget that before Mazen Namdekano were captured, he has put in place mechanism, mechanisms that will protect you, mechanism that will safeguard you, mechanism that will safeguard and secure Biafra land. No matter what the Fulani do today to demoralize you, to make you turn away from Biafra, remember we are getting close. Remember that Mazen Namdekano has done everything and has put everything in place. All mechanism needed to actualize Biafra. All mechanism needed to actualize Biafra. He has put them in place. Remember that whatever the Nigeria DSS do today, I want you to remember Mazen Namdekano did not only put the Eastern Security Network, there are other sectors within IPOB that have engaged so many nations in diplomacy, they have engaged so many organizations in diplomatic work. Do not forget that this diplomatic work have started you the result. Do not forget that these sectors created by our leader Mazen Amdikan within IPOB has done extraordinary things to set the ball rolling. And as I'm talking to you right now, the ball is rolling and rolling very fast in all those sectors. Fulani government understand how you feel. And now they are playing the mind game. The mind game in trying to demoralize you, making you understand that they are in charge. Making you understand that they decide what happened and what will not happen to Mazen and Bikano. They want to let you understand that they decide what who goes to the, when he goes to court and when he don't go to court. Thereby, making you to have everything or double mind in supporting Biafra. It is time you rise up. If you are not supporting Biafra, this is the time you have to bring yourself out and support the ESN. Very, very important. And we must thank those who after 
listening to the new account of ESA. Today, a lot of people, a lot of Biafrans have begun to show their support for ESA. Let that continue. The message I have just played, the IPOB USA website, the donation, the ESN account, it is time you support the Eastern Security Network like never before. Because the stunt the, the Nigeria government put today is to make you to demoralize you. He couldn't have a number. The only thing the Nigeria government wanted their friends to do is I may couldn't call them Banabiafra. And we know their strategy. We know their plan. And that is why we are saying the struggle for Biafra has entered autopilot. Autopilot. You don't know it all. Allow the spirit of Biafra, the spirit of our leader, to possess you so that your spirit will be in line with this autopilot. And do not, because of your selfish interest, do not because of your I too know, do not because of your position, do not because of what you know and others don't know, destroy what our leader have done, set us back on this fast moving train. Mazenam the Kano have done everything. And by now, it is us that will prove to him that the mechanism he has put in place that is capable of bringing Nigeria to its knee is being implemented. It is now in our, the ball is in our court. The ball is in our court. The Nigeria government you see today, you know they are weak. You and I know their weak point. You and I know when to deal with them. You and I know how to deal with them. You and I know that the struggle for Biafra has entered a new phase. You and I know that the struggle for Biafra is no longer a child play. You and I know that blood has been spilled for Biafra. You and I know that Mazin Namdekano has put in all everything he can. He has done everything he can. He has put in all this mechanism in place. You and I know that what you know, I don't know it. And what I know, you don't know it. You know exactly when to rise up and begin to implement what you know that I don't know. The time has come when I will begin to implement what I know that you don't know. In the struggle for Biafra, that is what we call the division of labor. The things you know, the things you have planned with our leader, how to get Biafra that nobody else know except you and him. It is time you begin to implement it. It is time individually, collectively, 
It is time you begin to implement whatever you have discussed, planned with our leader for the actualization and the restoration of Biafra. Because we know who our leader is. And we know that a lot of you out there have secret, your own secret with our leader, Mazin Amdikan. This is not the time to say or wait for him to press the button. If you know the strategy and the secret you have with our leader that you should do something when the time uh, arise. You should do something when the time come. My brother, my sister, the time has come to begin to implement everything we have had with our leader before this day. God is not a man. God is not a man. When our leader was busy distributing tax to people within IPOB, it is not out of ignorance. When our leader was busy sharing some secrets with you, it is not out of ignorance, it is not coincidence. It is for a day. It is for a time like this. Some of you have different understanding with our leader. Some of you knows exactly the secret plan Discussion you have had with our leader Mazin Amdikano. And those discussions and plan is all about how to get Biafra. It is time you begin to implement whatever you have with him. We have to begin to deliver. The time has come. The time has come. We are going to be speaking in language the Nigeria government will understand and the language they will not understand. I say it again. That you were here in 2015, 2016, 2017. We are not in stagnation. We are not stagnant for Christ's sake. The Nigeria DSS and Fulani government, they are also not stagnant. Nigeria Fulani government, we cannot do the same thing all over and all over again and expect different results. Fulani government, and you want the IPOB family members. It is time for us. Don't come to tell me that you know everything. Don't come to tell me you did it last time. You are going to do it again. You can't do the same thing you did last time and you are going to get the same result. Things have changed. Strategies have changed. And what our leader did in 2015, priority to his arrest, is not what he did in 2021 before he was abducted. In case you don't know, what our leader did in 2015 was not what he did in 